Okay, infinite EMC. Ready? Just simple setup. Let's go. Now, what you're going to need is this, 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 two of these, one of these, and five of these. I'm just going to use this as this and this furnace generator and this furnace generator are two different tiers. This one's a first gen. This is a first tier generator. This is a second tier generator. I'm going to use this one for demonstration pur purposes because it's faster. Okay. Put a generator there. Put a pulverizer there. Put an energy condenser there. Uh, put a blaze rod up in here and reset the pulverizer so that it has an input in the back and a double output on the right side into this chest. Take this transfer node, put it right here, two transfer pipes here and here, and that's how you, that's the entire infinite energy, uh, the infinite EMC system. It also doubles up the infinite energy system because this produces more power than it uses. And now all you have to do to start it up is take four blaze rods, put them in there, and take one blaze rod and put it in here. What will happen is this will produce enough energy to make What's happening is a blaze rods. Well, all right. First off, that's the whole infinite energy system. Now for more of the explaining details of it. This pulverizer is pulverizing blaze rods into four blaze powder with a 50% chance of sulfur, all of which is EMC. Now those two blaze powder can be turned into no. Those four blaze powder can be turned into two blaze rods, which. So we're turning one blaze rod into two and putting it back into the loop system to be doubled again. Now you need four blaze rods in here or something else of some nature to produce enough energy to create a stack's worth of blaze rods. Which once um, the stack's once the stack's worth is in here, all the extras will loop go past this because they'll go in here first because that's how the transfer works. It'll go past this and into the furnace generator to create more power to power the pulverizer. Simple enough. Alright. And all overflow, like once both these things are full, um, all extra blaze rods will be put into here. So you, and this is where you can pull them out for infinite EMC. Now, if you want to do something that I normally do, you can put another chest here and have another transfer pipe here. So that way, any any blaze rods, if this is too full for blaze rods, they'll go past it. And if this is too full for blaze rods, it'll go past it. And they'll go into here. And you can just put something like a diamond or dark matter or something like that in here. And whenever enough EMC has been generated, it'll just generate another item. So, yeah, infinite item, infinite EMC generator. Really simple, really easy to do. Like I said, you can use a tier 1 furnace generator instead of a tier 3, but if you're playing with Project E, you know how easy it is to get tier 3 generators. So, yep, simple enough. Bye.